tend to be thought of as a very static form um, with the hard lines on the sides. And so how do you get that to build around the soft tissue of a body? How do you get a body to give an appearance of triangle without it being a hard static thing that doesn't move and relate into the figure? And that was the challenge of today. Pick your favorite triangle and see if you couldn't build it and adapt it to different areas of the body. They had to bring in those sketches to me today and then I got to choose them and to tell them to turn it into a gown. Because the gown is big and full and takes up space, but also needs to be able to move. Trying to use that origami have you done technique. That if you've ever made like origami cranes, maybe this is one of the steps, and I just took it a little bit further because I think it might be a more interesting form of pleating. wrapping it around the body and sort of contrasting the crinkled paper with the flattness of the triangles at the top. So sort of having like the whole idea of wrapping triangles and wrapping fabric and wrapping paper together to create something rigid and soft at the same time. Because the tissue paper is so free form, there's not actually like fabric sewing or grain lines that you have to worry about. You can just take it and make whatever comes to mind really fast and there's no sewing involved so you don't have to think about technique or like seam allowances or all that stuff because it's all there. Now you need to take First pure idea that's just in your head that nobody else has seen yet, the tr attempting to translate it onto the two dimension and get it in a way that your, your mind's eye is seeing it and then your physical eye is seeing it is an exciting challenge. But then being able to take that and translate it so that it becomes real and takes up space, I think that's a, that's a moment for a designer where they can step back and smile. Being that it's right or wrong or perfect or not, it doesn't matter. It's a matter of getting from your, your mind's eye to your completed eye. And that's pretty darn exciting.